Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects And today I'll be showing you how to create this 3D bat flying effect in After Effects This is one of my favorite effects And we'll also use my favorite plugin Element to do this So let's just get into it As you can see here in my comp I already did the effect to test it out So let's just go into my new comp right here With the raw clip So first let's just add solid by hitting Ctrl Y And hit OK like that Or you can just right click go over to new and create a new solid and we're gonna name this element now and then let's just add element into here this is one of my favorite plugins in after effects if you don't have this you are really missing out but now we're gonna open up scene setup and we're gonna import our bat model here and for the bat model i found this bat flying animation in sketchfab i just searched out vampire bat or something like that and found this big shout out to the creator who made this he killed it i'll link this in the description and to download this go to download the 3d model and you can just download the glb file of it like download it i'm not gonna do it right now because i already did that after you download it you will get a zip file like this you can just hit right click and just extract it go to source and you will find your bad model right here but there's a problem right here as you can see it's a glb file and we want strictly ovj the ovj for element 3d also it has to be animated so to convert it into ovj we want to use blender so let's just fire up blender real quick if you don't already know blender is a free program you can use for any kind of 3d modeling or or 3d compositing anything you like i highly recommend getting this and playing around like it's the craziest software ever and it's free but for now we're gonna hit new file after you are in new project you will see this cube and you can just hold your scroll wheel to rotate around like this so we don't want the cube for now so we want to hit the a and x and just delete this like that now we're gonna bring up our glb file so so go to file go over to import make sure you are in input not in export import and scrolling down you'll see glb glb slash what is this g l t f yeah and just select that option and it will bring up your file manager and just locate where you downloaded the glb file and right here in source you'll find your bad glb just open import it into your blender now and you'll see your bat here right here and it also has the animation as you can see but it gets stuck right here because the animation is like a loop to turn it into loop it's a 10 frame loop so we're gonna go to the timeline right here and set the end to like 10 oh yeah 10 right there and as you can see our animation looks pretty cool big shout out to the creator again he killed it with the animations and the rigging but now we're gonna export this in glb animated file so to do that go to file again go to export now not import export and we want ovj so so scrolling down you will see wave front ovj just tap there and it will bring up your file explorer again you just have to look at where you're gonna export export it uh, right here right here i'm gonna head over to source and make a new folder here we're gonna call this bat animation obz like that and name this bad animation as well bad animation and before you export this make sure you scroll down or extend this and you will see a option called animation export just tick that so our export will be on animation sequence if that makes sense the frames are already in here so we don't have to tweak it and just hit export obj and we're done with blender and after that if you open up your file manager and look at where you exported it you will see your obj files are exported now this is exactly what we want so let's just close up blender for now we are done with it and let's just fire up after effects and in after effects you can see i'm on scene setup of the element like you can just hit scene setup and you will get into scene setup like this and to import your animation go over to file go over to import don't go to import straight away don't go over to this import go over to file then after that go over to import and you'll see 3g object and 3d sequence we're gonna import 3d sequence for now so let's just hit 3d sequence and just look at where you exported the obj right here as you can see all my files are here right here then to import this you don't have to select it all and to import this you don't have to select it all just select the first one the bad animation one obj and just hit open and for this also hit like okay and if you don't see your model 
model go to transform in the edit and just hit normalize size and you will see your bad model right here and now we are successfully imported our bad model into element you won't see the animation right now it will be on our project window but i'm gonna check this tool right here and set the anchor point into my bad i guess yeah let's just leave it right here and just center it right there after that to load up its texture you we're going to open up the material and in material one go to diffuse and for some reason when you convert it to ovj your material won't fit directly as you can see if i import this material as you can see it's not lined up it's really messed up and it's not lined up as you can see to fix that we're going to head over to photoshop or if you don't have photoshop you can just use your after effects too or i also also highly recommend photopia photopia.com it's exactly like photoshop but it's like an online version of photoshop if that makes sense so you can use that as well but let's just fire up photoshop for now let's just let it open and as you can see we are here in photoshop to create a new project file just drag and drop your just drag and drop your texture and it should create a new project file like that and in here we don't have to do much by default it will set as background just unlock it so it's on layer and after that hit ctrl t to get into transform mode and just right click and just hit flip vertical and we're done with photoshop 2 now so to finish it up go to file go to export export as set it to jpeg the quality is on 6 and just hit export and you can create a new folder like flip like that and just save it right here and just pop into after effects now open up your model go to material go to diffuse and just dragging your texture which is this make sure you drag the right texture that you exported from photoshop or photopia after that our texture is also done so let's just get out of here now and after that in your composition you will see the bat flying so now we're gonna replicate it and add it more so let's just go to group one go with particle replicator and you can just bring up the amount like you can set it like 13 or 14 let's just go with 14 for now and right away you won't see it replicating but to get that effect go to replicator effect go to scatter and just you can just scatter those around like that uh let's just set it to something like 65 and our x to 51 uh like 51 should be good and also bring up our y to like 30 35 or something like that like 30 or 36 should work and bring up the g for sure like like 160 let's just go with 160 yeah like that then you can also play with the seats if you like then you can just play with the seats if you want to get different scattered effects so let's just go with something like yeah this looks pretty cool so let's just go with this seed then you can also open your particle look and in particle rotation you can just rotate the random so it's like random rotating so rotate random like that nothing too much on that after that i want it flying over from here like this so to do that let's just close all of these and go over to group utilities go to create group null and just create a new null of it and you will see a null that controls all of our bats if that makes sense like that so i want them flying out from here like starting from here and going over here if that makes sense like this so let's just rotate it a bit like that and open up the group go to transform and just and you can just hit the stopwatch on all of those and i'm gonna put the position in the beginning above here something like here and going over to the end i'll i'll simply set the position somewhere around the up. so they are flying up from the ground uh i think i don't like the seed so let's go with the particle replicator again and bring it up to something like this oh no 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 not this mm, like that it looks pretty solid now but i think i'm gonna make the animation a bit slower too oh uh, like about there also go to my element again go to particle look and just lower down the random rotation because it is messing it up i guess something around 20 is fine and also you can pop into rotation and just not keep him all of these up for now and just play with the rotation so it's on the right angle and that animation right there looks pretty cool i really like it so one thing i'll also do is select my element layer and go into particle look and go into baked animation and 
and here you can see frame object just bring it up so it's like different animation for each bat and also in loop mode you can set it to random loop now we're gonna match the lighting and add those finishing touches we'll add lumetri color in it lumetri colors to match the lighting and the color grade so we're gonna head over to basic correction and bring up the contrast so the shadows are dark and also you can play with the temperature so it's like cold as you can see it's a cold temperature and also you can like add a tritone in it and in mid tones select the mid tones of it and lower down the amount it will really help it to make it re more realistic as you can see also you can sample the shadows of our subject shadows as well as you can see now it matches the scene to make it more realistic you can go head over to element again go to render settings and go to ambient occlusion and just enable that and just bring up the intensity more so we'll have the shadows you can also play with the distribution distribution like around here also radius if you want and bring up the amount for sure then you can head over to motion blur now and just turn it on and i think i'm gonna lower down the shutter angle to something like 80 or 90 then to top it all off i'm gonna add a preset from a preset pack so let's just create a new adjustment layer and go to our effects panel let's bring it up effects and i'm gonna use uh, my ultimate grunge bundle so so I'm going to use the default for now. If you don't already know, I have a grunge pack which allows you to add those crazy grungy effects into your music video easily. It comes with 60 plus assets in it and the bundle also comes with a great deal. So I'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out. Also I'll leave an in-depth video on it in the description as well if you want to consider buying. So anyways, I'm going to use black and white glow for now into my adjustment layer and after you add it, you will see this crazy crazy grungy effect fits with the destro lonely vibe as you can see also you can open up the keyframes and play around it so you can go with the tritone i will not make it whole black and white so let's just bring up the tritone a bit so we also have those blue tones after that i think the flicker is too much so i'm going to remove the exposure from here and if you have a sapphire flicker you can use that also i'll add exposure again put it before the levels and bring up the exposure so it's bright and that looks pretty solid right there as you can see this is the before this is the after with some few clicks the pack is really insane guys i really recommend you getting it i'll leave the link down below so you can check it out so yeah this is my final result so hope you like this video if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel because i'm uploading daily on july so you won't miss out with all the sauce so yeah see you in the next video peace